two sides shake hands now and the shots will line up as follows in goal Marcus Dewhurst a back three of Harfield skipper in the side Mag Homer and Bird Ollie Scott left wing back Ashley Akpan back in for Aaron Jones at right wing back hasn't put a foot wrong in the shots first team this year Hargreaves and Theo Widrington in the centre of midfield James Henry and Josh Barrett up top uh, or in advanced midfield there's number 10 positions and ahead of them Hadi Gandor Tommy Widrington uh, Widrington sets his stopwatch as to me and Steve Gibbs as well because we're all what are we Steve we're not we're not old school we're good school ball out to the right hand side as Tommy likes to call it we're underway and it'll quickly be a goal kick to the shots ball around the corner looking for Henry who almost gets there at the second attempt Felix recovers well poor pass from him finds Widrington Gandor might just look to get it past the keeper is that a foul shot towards the goal from Josh Barrett, keeper way out of his area, Barrett lifted it and he grazes the top of the bar, it would have been a thing of beauty from Josh Barrett he's inches away from giving the shots the lead, Steve Gibbs when you see Watson coming out, if there's one person in a red and blue shirt that you want that ball falling to, it's Josh Barrett, and he so very, very nearly gave Aldershot Town a spectacular lead throw in to the shots and the shots have got to work on some slightly different patterns now in the absence of Holly Harfield down that left hand side he may be the left centre back but he still gets well forward a little bit more restrained these days or he has been a lucky bird with the ball through the middle to Theo Widrington he plays it through looking for Barrett he's in touch round the keeper and off balance he puts it into the side netting the perfect move the perfect first touch and somehow Josh Barrett can't turn that in. The crowd eventually applaud what was a wonderful move from the shots. But how, Steve Gibbs, 31 and a quarter minutes in, has Josh Barrett not scored? Yeah, he was just progressively off balance, but delicious, sublime through ball from Theo Widrington. There seemed to be two or three defenders that could just step across and cut it out, but they weren't quite able to. And then Barrett was in, and he took a touch, and then he took another touch around Watson, and then another, and then he tried to stab it goalwards. And in the end, all he could do was just brush the, the back side of the post into the side netting. And you, th you felt for a certain that he must give all shot down the lead. Yeah, nil-nil still. Not quite sure how. I'll tell you more about that in a minute. But York have got a corner as we speak in the 37th minute. And the referee's just uh, having a word about some pushing. Uh, Ollie Pierce has uh, just hit the wall from a free kick. Mag Homer picking up a, a yellow. Prior to that, two great opportunities for the shots. Uh, tell you about them in just a moment, though. But York are literally going to send in this corner right footed here. And it's half cleared and cleared off the line. Well, do you know what, Tim? It was a shot's foot which directed towards the bottom corner of Marcus Dewhurst's goal. He stuck out his leg and somehow diverted it behind for another corner. And then uh, he rounded the keeper after a good ball from Theo Widrington, only to find the side net in the corner, comes in. And that is brilliantly parried away again by Dewhurst behind for another corner, Tim. And I don't know how it's nil-nil. Both sides with great opportunities in the last few minutes to take the lead. 38 minutes gone, nil-nil. He's much more red than red and blue these days. Shots go backwards from the throw. Maghoma outskips the press of Ollie Pierce and then sends it out to the left to Ollie Scott who heads it straight into the path of Josh Barrett Barrett holds it up turns away from goal gets the ball back now from Ollie Scott will he skip inside will he try a shot he's trying to make room gives it to Henry Henry skips inside onto his left foot oh just over the bar I think he'd have preferred to take it on his right he put it on his left and it's the second effort of the second half for the shots it's uh, slightly uh, wide and very definitely high and it remains nil nil. Okay, here's York building. There's been a few goals in the National League, but let's keep our eyes on this. Ashley Nathaniel George tries a ball in. That's taken down by Armstrong out to the right hand side to Federa. He can try a left footed shot. He is. And it just beats the outstretched um, right arm of Marcus Dewhurst and then goes over the bar. Not a bad effort, Steve. I, 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 I'd say that probably has come closer to going in than uh, the effort a couple of minutes earlier. Yes, oh, absolutely. I think so by quite a margin. That was. That was good move, good move 
by York City to open it up for Federa. He drifted inside. That shot was rising, it was dipping, it was fizzing, it was swerving in the air. And in the end, I think Dewhurst was happy to see it go over the bar. Which includes two away trips. But here they are building again. Can they find a late moment of quality? Or even a moment the other way. Ball up to Gandor. He hasn't got Callum Howe for company this time, and he plays it back. Cross comes in from the right, headed away by Fallowfield, I believe. Good headed winner, though, from Many Ace. Ryan Jones touches it back to Many Ace, who can't win it cleanly, but he'll get on to the, the, the ricochet. Plays it back to Ryan Jones. Will he square it to Theo Whittington? Yes, he will. Whittington bursts forward to the edge of the area. Will he try a shot from distance? He does. And again, it's wide, and we always knew it was going wide. And he's got the ability to get those shots on target, and he's frustrated, his father's frustrated, but still he calls with a skipper's barm band on for the shots to keep going, to keep plugging away. Referee lets that one ride. Theo Whittington sends the ball out to the right-hand side. Hadi Gandor will chase it. He's one-on-one -on -one against his uh, defender. He's into the penalty area, pulls it back, it's missed. Ryan Jones might get onto it, though, into the edge of the penalty area. Feigns to go on his right, comes on his left, clips it in, it's half cleared, only as far as Whittington sends it back in. Kai Corbett, can he get a turn and a shot? No. He goes back to Hargreaves, it's half cleared. Now York might break. Hargreaves has won it again. Hargreaves to Ryan Jones, clips it into the area. And it's snaffled by Rory Watson, just as Gandor comes in. As does Jack Barham, they can't get a touch. We're into the 90th minute. There is no other Time way. is up, 20 seconds over it. In comes a huge throw into the air, flicked on. Lachlan Bird with the header down, comes up a York player. It's running towards the touchline, I don't think he'll find it. It's cleared forward, up towards halfway. Theo Whittington touches it, he can only touch it into touch. And the full-time whistle goes. And how on earth, Steve Gibbs, can we sound so excited about a nil-nil draw. Well done, both teams. Well done, the supporters, both sets. All the best to Ollie Harfield. It's ended here. A point apiece. Nil-nil at the EBB. What a shock that is.